Alright, long time no see, everybody. This is Silver Skull Gamer. Um, just got another package from Puppets War. And we're gonna open it. This took a while. I guess they're, uh. I think it took almost two weeks before it even shipped, and then about another week, but. It's finally here. I'm pretty pumped about what should be in here. Gosh, they always package their stuff pretty well. Well, I say that. I do use a lot of tape, but it sounds like the parts actually kind of uh, rattling around a bit. makes three um, well that's not really the point of this video because we've already seen that but I plan on doing something pretty different with that oh okay those two big pieces were kind of rattling around um, one of the airbags popped so that was probably part of the problem but this is what we want to look at all right, you can see the uh, this mold line here. It's gonna have to be smooth and sanded. Flash around the main headlight. There seems to be some kind of heavy flash on the gun barrels here on the front of the bike. Yeah, I thought it was miscast at first, but now looking at it. It's pretty thin uh, resin, so it's just heavy flash. Should clean up pretty good. The tires are rough, which isn't that big of a deal, but I mean, the bottom's got a lot of. I don't know if those are supposed to be mounting points for the base or it's just a lot of sprue hanging on there I see that mold line it's pretty bad on the underside of the fender and the bottom's just kinda rough but it's the bottom underside I mean who's gonna see that uh oh I'm just realizing There's no handlebars. Okay. Um, so there's no handlebars. Apparently. Alright. Well, the, the underside's kind of rough. Oh, I see some bubbles. At the bottom of this gun. This one, too. Uh, shouldn't be not a huge problem guess, you know, good thing we have liquid green stuff alright so there's some flash and the uh, where the front part of the bike mounts up got this nice grill work exhaust pipes coming around I think it's fairly detailed. Um, where it breaks off in the sprue, though, and well, no, oh, that actually broke off. That's supposed to be a footrest, and it broke off. It's 
why though, because I found it. Oh, no, that's not right. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, that piece broke in shipping. Detail's pretty good, not a lot of bubbles. It's just the flat surfaces aren't quite perfect. I'm wondering if this is hand sculpted. Really good on the hoses though. You know, this could use some general sanding, a lot of flash. That's gonna have to be that's a pretty big rough spot there on the bottom. Once again, the bottom of the tire is a little ugly. Oh, we got this on the exhaust pipe there. Try to clean that up. Mold line here, and it's a little rough right there, but. The top of the bike, just looking straight down, is really smooth. And I just love this angular armor. It reminds me of the Michael Keaton Batmobile in the first movie, which I'm still a big fan of. Obviously, Dark Knight series is badass, but I love that Michael Keaton Batmobile. And this reminds me of that armor that uh, the car shielded itself in. I just love this style. Let's look at the heavy cannon or heavy bolter piece. Okay, it's pretty rough right here. Let's see those mold lines, flash. Got a big bubble right there. This side doesn't matter so much as it would be against the bike. Yeah, I don't know if it's 3D printed, but you can just tell, especially on this side, some of these edges aren't quite straight. You know, the whole thing kind of has a hand-sculpted look to it because it's not quite perfect as far as parallel lines and perpendicular lines. But I still think it's pretty cool. I'll probably use the uh, multi-melter. Speaking of... Once again, I think, I guess this is where it breaks off the sprue. There's a bubble there. It's flat top. This is the side that mount mounting side. This muzzle, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the vents are kind of jacked up. They're actually cracked on this one. There's actually like a crack running right down the center. But this will be the side against the bike, so it's not too visible. This this will be the exterior or outside. Have some flash, a little mold line going on. There are some bubbles in here, but the way it'll be painted, those are recesses, and they should be probably be black or really dark, so not a big deal. Do need to drill out into the barrels. And then these mounting pieces themselves. Uh, this little piece of armor has got some bad mold line.
That straight, looking straight down looks pretty good. As far as the detail on the coils. Oh, we got a big hole right there. And a rough edge. I'm not sure if that's, that's probably supposed to be trimmed off. I think this here. Yeah, so that's gotta be trimmed off. This needs to be, you know, I mean, these pieces are not made from injection molding with, you know, $100,000 metal uh, mold plates and all that, so you just got to expect to do a little work, but I think for the overall design and having something totally different in your army, I think it's worth it. You know, as long as it's not a well, missing the handlebars. I gotta have to that's kind of a snafu. But that's pretty good. Same with this, you look straight down. Looks good. Need to trim off this piece. It's a mold line here, needs to be cleaned up. Yeah, it's kinda rough. This is the armor, and I keep hounding them on their thread on Daka Daka that I want them to sell infantry models in this style of armor. Um, and you see the mold line comes down the side of the leg, and the inside of the leg, there's the flash. This angular thigh piece, knee piece. I'm just gonna have to be some delicate sanding. No real bubbles, I don't see. Well, there's one in the crotch. Yep. Bad place to get shot. The arms. Arms are a little rough. Could be better, especially this elbow joint. It's bad. Thumbs broken off, or just didn't cast, miscast. There's a bubble on the end of the finger. It's very thin resin. Hopefully, I can fix that without having to resculpt the whole finger. Arms are a little rough, I'll admit. Yep. I mean, I love the style of the armor, and I think the end result will be nice. It's just going to take some work. Once again, the thumb totally miscast, eaten by a bubble. And looks like maybe the tip of this finger is messed up. Yeah, bubbles on the underside. Mold line fairly bad, all up on this shoulder. But you do have shoulder pads. Cover that up. You know, that helmet I saw before. But they did give me another one. Which is much better. So that's cool. I'm interested though. There's, I wonder what else was on this sprue. Because it's not the same. I wonder if this is a possible spoiler here fact that there's a much larger sprue with a head on it. I wonder if maybe five heads came on this? Or more? Yeah, maybe five. So that's this is an interesting piece. The shoulder pads look good. I just need to break them off the sprue cleanly. I really like the back. Oh man, I love the back of this. The vents on the top. The way these corrugated tubing, I guess you'd say, or jointed tubing comes around the vents. Tubes on the underside. I love it. That's awesome. I 
Just gotta get it cleanly off the sprue. So that's the, uh, I believe it's the heavy VSE attack bike from Puppets War. Just to compare, I'm not going to waste time, much time on this. I think just about everybody in the 40k world recognizes this. I would say that the Puppets War bike, on an overall size comparison, is smaller. Now, I think at least the Marine, is the uh, Rider, is definitely smaller. The bike is pretty close call. I don't know. The bike's pretty close call. Yeah, that front wheel is definitely smaller. Maybe as wide. So they're very similar, but I think the rider is definitely smaller. I think the wheels are smaller. The armor, the armor is heavier, bulks it up. But I think these bikes overall would be a little smaller than a regular Space Marine bike. All right. Well, I tried to get it all stuck together with blue tack, but it's just falling apart. So. I just recommend going to the website, looking at the pictures, and I don't know, you know, I mean, if you want, I personally don't like the uh, Games Workshop Space Marine Bikers, and I've never actually been interested in having bikers in my army until I saw pictures of this model, um, and the riders with the angular armor. Um, that's what sold me. Um, seeing the kit in person, you know, based on the price, yeah, I'll probably buy uh, a couple more just to have like one bike squad, you know, that I can use. Um, you know, it's just the pieces take some cleanup work. Um, I did find a fairly big bubble on his chest. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm sure you can. But, uh, I mean, I think it'll look good once all the prep work's done and once it's painted. Um, I think these will be in my Silver Skull army. Um, not with the uh, Big Mama. That's another chapter that may end up being Dark Angel successors due to the Dark Vengeance box. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I mean, overall, you know, I think it is what it is. You know, it's a third party resin company trying to make different things. Um, they don't have the big budgets, so, you know. There are flaws, but if you really want something that looks different and cool, and I believe uh, it's cheaper, I believe, because I think what the retail on one Space Marine biker is like $15 now, American. Um, I believe these work out to be cheaper. Um, you have to wait a while if you're in the U.S. to get them through the shipping and all, but you know, most of us have stuff we can paint in the meantime anyways. Um, I don't know. I would recommend it. Not for a novice modeler, though. If you just put this together with very little prep work and try to paint it, it would not look good. And uh, speaking of novice modeler, I'd, 
gouged out one of the shoulder pads trying to get it off the sprue. So it's not too bad, but you know, there you go. Um, and just a teaser for a future project, like I said, uh, this Big Mama Cannon. Um, there's been a lot of complaints or criticisms um, on the threads where I posted my finished Big Mama Cannon on the Rhino and a lot of people said the gun is way too big for the chassis and I'm like oh, that's 40k have you seen a lemon lemon rust tank lately I mean come on proportion is you know proportions are not really their thing um, but I get that you know it's valid criticism for modelers that like to try to get some realism so I think I have a solution for that and I think it will look really good if I can pull it off it's gonna take a lot of work uh, it'd be my most ambitious project yet, but uh, I think it'll be pretty awesome. So we'll fix that chassis to gun ratio, I think. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Um, get back into this. I just life's been busy. So see you guys next time. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, those things. Alright, thanks. Bye.